Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kingdoms of Amler Re-Reckoning. So someone had to comment on the series, but how is their favourite RPG? I mean... I mean, it's a good RPG, it's just... The design choice of making it so of a massively single player game. Like they aim to make an MMO, but yeah, you. You may have a game dev, uh, Tycoon or whatever it was. And how much MMOs cost to maintain? Have you seen Brio? Always in a hurry here. Which is stupid. Well, hey, we if you mean to work, there's a like, you know. Oh, it's going to cost you several billion each year. No, each month. <laughs> yeah, not just a ma That was stupid, if you think about it. Because, yeah, just imagine if the money actually did go up. Like, each month that the game is out. The money to maintain the server just keeps going up and up and up. Or well then that would mean World of Warcraft be spending, you know, probably at this point trillions. <laughs> so, yeah, that doesn't make any logical sense. But no, Game Dev Tycoon's like, oh yeah. So you made it a, this is MMORPG, it needs constant money. Otherwise it's going to over cost you by billions. <laughs> doesn't really work that way. Sure, it needs money for the upkeep, but it is going to cost billions. It's not going to just go up and up and up like that. I've said it to him again. Mortals are meant for water. But yeah, putting that concept though into, like, say, why you couldn't exactly afford to make this into an MMO? Yeah. So, here's well, it's our first major city. Well, I won't even consider this here an actual major city, but it's large enough. There's multiple districts. There's quests all over for us to pick up. There's people we haven't talked to. It's it's busy. So here's the thing. Sagecraft Trainer. Viscount Settler the All Silk. Alchemy Trainer. He has an icon above him that says he's a trainer. But. That doesn't really tell me what he is. At all. Swords so Trainer, are you? No, Carolyn is one of the most talented. Hi. To our greetings. You? What shall I do now? Someone in Issa is always looking to send me away. Oh, dear. But I won't. Well, if it isn't the mortal I've heard so much about, congratulations oh, on your successes in the House of Ballads. Well done indeed. So, what were you? Sagecraft. Sagecraft. So here's the he could try and see what it would be. Yeah, that doesn't help me, because I am not, I don't have any real points in Sagecraft. But yeah, then there's also a Sagecraft trainer right over there. So, he's a Sagecraft trainer. But... Yes. Oh, well, it doesn't help the trick of things. Things I'm trying to think, do I need to... What all I should be going to explore? Because here's the thing. It shows the quests that you can see in the area. It doesn't show the quests that are like, you know... Are there quests in hell? <laughs> so it's like, oh, well, I should go explore regardless. Because there could be quests hiding in hell.
Today, what did I say? There could be quest hiding in here. And voila, there is quest hiding. Idris Theonin has been managing the Scholi Arcana libraries for centuries. Nice to spell you doing that. <laughs> By the way, I just, I, yeah. I know that pocket drum also looks for. I don't know. Maybe he's different in the beads. Yeah, he's different. Here's a special lesson for those that are curious. So I can use the alchemy lab. Well, I remind you, our alchemy is. Yeah, our alchemy could use a bit of work. What we need to do is find like, say, fun like the net tail trainers. The ones that can basically pump us up for like. Five to six, or something like that. And then we need a poor boy like Well, actually, we need two points to persuade. My lock picking's mostly fine at the moment. I Don't got, know if we've had the pleasure. I'm the finest merchant in these parts, I assure you. Doubt. I can't say that I have much in the way of magical ability, but I know trade better than anyone else here, and they appreciate it here. Do they? You can't just have a group of book-minded mages and expect the organization to take care of itself. They rely on people to look after the logistics, like me. I see. When I first arrived here at the instruction of the order, I was terrified of the Fae. They are nothing like us. What do you have? You have... Potions, potions. Stuff, lock. You have lockpicks? I'll take lockpicks. Uh, my is a bit full, isn't it? Yeah, I should probably do Soon, I hope. That. Oh, you has a name. What's your story? Oh, look at you. Finding everything you need? Anything I can be of help with? I love the order. Never felt more at home than among my peers. But I only wish there were more of us. Well, here's the thing. You guys don't have a banner thing here that says you're part of a faction I could join, so... Yeah. If you do enough good works, the Scolia sends you to Issa. Apparently, they're keen on learning some of the magics of the Fey. Didn't know the Fey had cities, or whatever you might call this, until I came out here. I can understand why they wouldn't want to share it, though. Be well. Oh, would you really want to share your secrets with mortals? Well, actually, given the fact that the mortals will probably die off, and, their se and your secrets will go back to the grave with them. Quiet, damn fools. Ah, I'm sorry, friend, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit... concerned. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm an experienced sage crafter. My skills as a mage leave much to be desired, but no one knows stones like I do. The finest practitioners of the arcane crafts on the continent can be found within the Order. Okay. There are many things we have learned from our time with the Fae. Well, their magic is quite unlike ours. Well, for, you know what? Let's ask you this. Well, what do you have? You have... Yeah, that's not that great. Anyway. I need to unload some of this. Crafter's... Oh, yeah, crafter's hands. Is that not as good one? Okay, here's the thing. Titan's cup is a bad. It's just... Yeah. Also, hacks? Yeah, okay. Then. <laughs> So keeping purple, keeping that thing. Yeah. Just cut. Border. 
skin. They have. Everything else we could sell. Because that's right. I don't need as much random and gold in my inventory. Is it helping me? And then he wants me to ruin that silver knife. Silver knife? Silver knife? Silver knife? Silver knife. Silver knife. You know. The stuff that isn't as well. Right. Well, I do have those. Pet sleeve. But, eh. Doubt I'd use. But I don't like having my heavy on. I couldn't mind it. I like being, um, what's the word? As a battle mage, I prefer heavy armor because. It gives you a lot more physical protection. Sure, it doesn't really help with spell casting. That's the drawback to being a battle mage. Sure, you have the most powerful spells, but. If you don't have the mana or the ability to cast them in succession, are you really a mage? Like, it's like you have a spell, but if you don't have the mana to cast it, what's the point of having a spell? And that's well having all those enchantments that help with our magic abilities to come in. Like, we can actually murder most things with just magic. Now, because, well, we have excessive stats. Anyway, what happened? A few nights ago, I was the victim of an attempted robbery. Someone sought to steal a gem of mine from a okay. chest I warded myself. That night, three initiates fled the chapter. Cassera, Aloran, and Bertrand. I suspect they were somehow involved. They could only have run into the she. Can you find them? No, that's not too far. I was going to say, who would rob you in this city? I don't think the favor give a damn, and not many people are allowed in here. And Thank you. Find out what happened, and I'll be grateful. They must be in the she. Find them there. You've got to find them. There's three of them: Casera, Bertrand, and Aloran. Goodbye. Go, go into the shade. Hello. He's doing magic. Look at that. Doing all the magic. Greetings. Welcome to the Issa Chapter House of the Scolia Arcana. Oh, you How may I be of assistance? Banner. Apparently, they are a thing. Though. Just everyone else doesn't have a banner. As a docent of the Scolia Arcana, my duties involve handling all tasks necessary for the day-to-day -day administration of the Order's affairs in Issa. We are a collective of mages, and those that have a mind to unravel the ethereal phenomena of these Feylands and beyond. Okay. Well, I'm a... Despite Tetris Joram's mage. frustrations, the wild magic of the Fae can be channeled in the most extraordinary ways. It is a great honor for us to be granted a place among them. The Issa chapter is but a small branch of our larger Rathia chapter in the plains of Erethel. We focus more on researching the magics of the Fae and Dalantar than pure instruction. So, what are we you? are an order of magic practitioners dedicated to the okay. fostering of knowledge regarding all things mystical and arcane. While the heart of our power lies in Rathir, we keep an embassy here in Issa to maintain strong relations with the Fae. Well, why won't you do Traditionally, our applicants undergo years of preparation, but we understand your circumstances are somewhat irregular. Well, I Ever since you entered the city, we've been watching you. After all, an endorsement from Nerilim is not quickly dismissed. 
If it is your wish to join our order, you must first complete the trial of initiation. Describe. It is a ritual that will better equip us to understand what place you might have among us. I will not lie. Some do not survive the ordeal. Ooh. Of those who do, only a select few are chosen to become members of our order. Well, obviously, we'll be selected. Like, just imagine that in an RPG. Imagine that. So basically, it's like, okay, so you basically do the trial, and it's like, uh, we'll put you in a queue. And maybe if these other people don't get selected, you'll be chosen. Have a nice day. Imagine that. And that would be interesting for a game. Just so instead of being chosen because you are clearly a MacGuffin, just uh, we'll put you in a queue. We'll get back to you. You're on the list, but we'll call yourself a change. Yeah, sure. Then first I shall present you with this. It is the story of the Order's founding and a good primer for all who wish to join our ranks. Good. I now I shall that. summon the circle of mages necessary to perform the ritual. Oh, there's a circle Savant of mages. Engar will lead the trial. Speak to him in the Delving Hall when you're ready to begin. Oh, I can't go in. Oh, now I can go in. No. We are a society of mages dedicated to the study of magic. So basically Short of joining, the best way to learn about the Order is to read on the founding of the Scolia Arcana. Study magic, but more so than the practice of magic. It is not for me to divulge the details of the trial. I can only advise that you do not take the risk. Farewell. Oh, I'm going to take a line. The first place. This is totally magic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I'd count that as magic. Anyway, let's read the thing. So the scholar again. Uh, how many pay? Oh Jesus. Okay, I'm not gonna read it exactly. I'm just gonna let you guys read it because you know it's easier on me not having to read everything. I feel like I've read this before. So basically, three of them fought an evil person and one. Simple concept. Also, I really need to go find a hero kill. Pretty curse, I forgot about that. It's not like it's really that bad for me, but still. So now we have a kill. It was a sagecrafted person. Greetings. I have some ability with the art of sage crafting. Do you wish for some well, instruction? You. So you you also do zero to three. You just I just had an idea. Are we actually one? I'm pretty sure we're zero. Well no, we had we ate a burke, didn't we? 
Well, if that's the case, I want to. I be should be here. I want to train with her, then I can train with the guy outside, and that would put us at three. Right? Yeah, that would put us at three. And you can't go zero to three. So, yeah. Yeah, you should have. Hi, user. <laughs> okay, so let's just go find the guy I'm supposed to find. I will be the savant presiding over your trial of initiation. Traditionally, applicants have prepared for the challenges of this trial through years of study and training. Yeah, well, I'm a maker. But as Augra mentioned, we realize you are unique. Do you have any questions before we begin? What can I the magic of the ritual confronts the applicant with his or her own potential. Oh God, not my potential. Consequently, oh. no two experiences well, are the same. Take a while. Go How this potential tent. manifests varies. Whatever takes place is for the applicant only. Tradition dictates it is never spoken of. And a final warning. While whatever shape the magic takes isn't real, not truly, what happens can have real consequences. Do not underestimate the danger. Well, if we clone, if we make a duplicate of me, and if it has my staff, yeah, that could be threatening. This is a fluid magic. The form it takes varies according to the power and nature of the ritual's focus. In this case, you. you don't the goal is a simple one. Survive. Like every Scolia Arcana member before you, to join our ranks, you must first confront the specter of your potential. And be aware that I am watching. Now. Proceed into the center of the circle to begin. Good no, luck. Watching. Well, that's again the trial of initiation. I was going to say, uh, Not the most welcoming problem. place, is it? Is that a pile of corpses? Fascinating. Don't pay any attention to my ramblings, Initiate. Those fair Gorta look like they're out for blood. Oh, so enter in on my pouch for corpses. You seem to possess quite the capacity for violence. Intriguing. Well, I mean. By the founders, what is that? A synergistic construct of all chemical elements resonant within a sage-crafted crystalline substructure. I do hope you survive the trial. We must discuss this further. Well, I get out. The first phase of the trial is complete. Proceed further in the to deeper. see what luck. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Another cave. How interesting. Yes, my <laughs> mind is just a bunch of caves. Ah, a waterfall. That's lovely. What is blazes to offer? The details are exquisite. You obviously knew. Well, I don't try and murder him. Surprise things on fire. The 
something is terribly wrong. Ahead, I sense another's presence in the trial. Dissonance, growing. <laughs> This place. So, who are you? Ah, fucking persuade. <laughs> persuade. We are, like seriously. We need to up our persuade. Empyrean. I cannot remember. I cannot remember anything. And you. I smell death on you, child. Why have you summoned me here? Uh, like I want to ask that, but I know. am the Dark oh, Empyrean, and I will not be bound by you or those you serve. I could kill you now, but I have plans for those who watch from the shadows. Now be gone. Ow. Well, that's different. Um, <laughs> I think we ended up murdering most of them. Yeah, I told you, you probably shouldn't watch. <laughs> Such power. One moment we were linked, sustaining the magic of the trial, and then an arc of energy, the likes of which I have never seen, burst from you. Three mages lay dead, and two have fled screaming. I know the trial is not meant to be shared, but what in Lyria's name happened? Yeah, there's a woman inside a woman? my head doing that. Masked in shadow? Dark Imperial. I will need to consult my books. Perhaps later we can discuss the details. For now, we have dead to bury and missing mages to find. So As for the formalities, you have proven yourself worthy in the trial of initiation. Yeah, and you're worthy. In Imagine the name of the Scolia Arcana, I hereby confer yeah. unto you the title of Neophyte. Welcome Neophyte. to the Order. Come speak to me when you're ready to be of use. It is a wondrous world we have been graced with. And among its marvels is the force of magic that builds in strength every day. Well, well, we well, have well, a responsibility well, to know what these forces are, so that we may better control it. Ah, yes. Newly welcomed applicants are known as neophytes. In time, those who have progressed to handling certain amounts of responsibility may become docents. <laughs> Particularly <laughs> gifted members may one day reach the rank of adept. They are traditionally the agents of the Scolia Arcana, to whom great tasks may be entrusted. I just a a very few may reach the rank of savant. These are the leaders of the order, and they yield only to one, the Art Sage. So my girls have become the Art Sage, is what you say. Oh, right. You passed. Up until the point where all hell broke loose, you were even doing well. Not that we expected anything less. I am sending you to the ruin of Aeod, to the south. There, the element of fire thrives as though it has a life of its own. Oh, After yeah, your initiation Aeod. trial, the magic in Aeod shifted. I believe this magic well, is tied to I you, Initiate. Too. Confronting it might yield some answers. Oh, it does not surprise me that Nuala survived the backlash of power that killed three of her brethren. From the first day of her novitiate, she demonstrated an insatiable curiosity and remarkable talent. But now, I can't help but wonder yeah, if we I mean, pushed her too well. hard. He was, is, one of the most gifted sage crafters we have produced in generations. 
Wherever he may be, I hope he is safe. Priests of Raycor have long sealed Aeod from entry, but we know it to be an ancient ruin. If you're interested in the details, read yeah, Valthelian Co- Followers of Raycor dwell within. They have quite the affinity for fire. As for what fire. may be causing the recent swelling in power emanating from the ruin, your guess is as good as mine. Well, I'll probably connect somehow to my dream thing. Somewhat self-destructive cultists who worship the arcane aspects of fire. They Cultist. frequent places they believe blessed by Vrakor and do not welcome trespassers. Lyria be with you. <laughs> Congratulations, you blew up three people. Welcome to the order. Ah, uh, bam, fuck. Fire. So yeah, fire basically. Lots Greetings, of fire. Too. There is always time to grow your skills. Ben, you don't care about Should you? Much. I came to the school, and though the magic is strong, what is this power? Where does it come from? I hope to learn yeah, these really truths learn in time. You, I really learned from you. Never anyway. stop practicing. <laughs> Welcome back, Neophyte. How may I help? I'm a docent. Some of my specific duties are being responsible for visitors as well as aiding Neophytes such as yourself. As you will discover during your time here, the Scolia Arcana is a venerable, illustrious order. If you wish to learn more, I suggest the library in Rithi. The library, yeah. I serve you, your eminence. I have always been a great admirer of Hallam the White. So I'm called it. Someone who actually realizes that I am, you know, King Winston. Well, wow. okay. What the hell's about it? Someone who recognizes that. Is that you paid on? And someone who isn't really judging me for what I did, though. That's the weird part. Yay, congratulations the king. But yet some of them are not fair aren't cursing my name for you became the king with the maid. Why did you become the king with the villain? You have a name. Oh, you excellent. Another Oh, a mortal. I don't think I could He oh, recognizes I, me everyone. You're the ruler of the House of Ballads. Yeah. How extraordinary. You wouldn't be interested in aiding a mere squire, would you? It is well beyond your station to do so, but, well, I... I faced quite the predicament. But what's your story? I am steward of the High King's List, and apprentice to the Lady of Receivership. The Lady of Receivership. Olana will be so displeased once she finds out I failed her so. The Lady of Receivership. That sounds like a, a fancy title or something. Something less fancy, you know? Like it sounds like a fancy title for strumpet, of all things. Receivership. 
If anyway. few dustlings ever make their way to these gardens, I believe they fear us as they fear the elements, as they should. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not like to be called dustlings? Eh, not really. She is well suited to her role as the Lady of Receivership, as she enjoys judging the worth of others. She has assessed me as well, and I have been found lacking. Well, I've never met him, of course. Such an honor is not granted to squires. But they say he is quite incredible. As tall as a tree and radiating a great light. As though a sun burned within him. The birds sing to herald his glory. Uh-huh, that's great. I enjoy my role as steward. But my fear of Lady Olana overshadows any pleasure I might find in the tasks assigned to me. She is quite critical. So I might go up and touch then, Jerry. My role is with the Hall of Appointments, to prepare visiting ambassadors and dignitaries to meet with the Court of Summer. Right now there are four terrible uh, <coughs> regal lords and ladies that wish to see High King Tatarian. But they are a fickle lot and require extra um, handling. They must enter the font in a procession, but each has his or oh her own God. preferences. And I can't afford to offend any of them. <sighs> it's one of the ways. Wonderful. That's one less aggravation that demands my concern. Thank you, mortal. The, the dignitaries well. have been seen about the gardens, enjoying its many splendors. I will remain here and await your advice. From what sounds like it. Everywhere. Goronet is in the Hall of Appointments, but the others are all over the city. What a nightmare. Oh, Farewell, honorable one. In Keep it your own. Shouldn't you be in Felltown? There's nothing of interest to you in the understyle. I'm the king of the house of Barrett. Sometimes the game just but like, like, there's plot flags. So like, hey, like he recognized me. The other one didn't recognize me because generic NPC apparently doesn't have plot flags to recognize the fact that, oh, hey, you are the, uh, you know, you're the king. <sighs> what is it? I don't know. Just me being stressed by NPCs. You're, uh, you'll have to excuse my stature, Grace. <laughs> the House of Ballads rarely sends its ruler to meet with me. I usually entertain mortals from Felltown. Well, at least people recognize me at times. It makes me feel better. If I was, hey, alchemy. You can't learn alchemy because you're at three already. Sucks to be you. If you ever wish to learn. Come I on. wish I could learn from you, but I can't. And then there's a flow regulator. <laughs> I'm sure that's important. But basically this one quest sounds like one of those typical... Can I aid you? But there's four people, right? They have to, you have to decide the order they go in. And one's gonna be like, I don't want to move down. They move them in the right order to be like, oh, I want to be first. But I want to not be with him. I don't really care what I do. It's a glorious Stuff day. like that. That's what it sounds like. But on those, they put them all over the place. Which means figuring out this order is going to be a bit of pain. Because I'd have to go talk to them and decide. Oh, I'm so curious. What may I do for you, Your Grace? I am always ready to serve the sage crafting needs of the House of Ballads. <coughs> so you're what's your face, aren't you? I am the attendant of the court's list, and the lady of receivership. I am trained in all aspects of courtly customs and stand twelfth closest advisor to the High King. Okay. Bye. So, what's so, up? Grand Fay Major. They send the ruler of the House of Ballads to serve me. What form of unnatural mortal game is this? Why are you here? Uh, I need to figure out shit. 
So on or should you enter? Me? Well, my seniority dictates that I should be leading this procession, but my lame leg oh, prevents me first. from taking my rightful place. I should bring up the rear. I will make it to Tatarian's throne, even Wait, if I have to crawl. Blast. But how do you really feel? Great Huntress Hartwen should go first, leading us all. She's particularly like that. I would hate so to anger her. Go first. The maid should go be last. Of course. Okay, okay. So, Huntress first, mage last. So this is gonna probably take an entire day just to go talk to everyone. It's a problem with, you know, RPGs. The whole talking to everyone. Which isn't really a problem in, like, say, so much in, like, action RPGs or in JRPGs, usually. But, in, like, you know, these ones are choices you have to have all the dialogue. Hi. I await news from the Hall of Appointments, but oh. surely you aren't their messenger. The ruler of the House of Balance oh, serves no one. Oh, thing. What order should you take? Order? <laughs> I care nothing for order. It is the others who insist on such foolishness no, and frippery. However, that. if you are the one who determines such things, may I ask that you place me behind the warlord Wenry? <laughs> I enjoy okay, watching I like her you. backside travel. But how do you really it would be best if Garnet trails far behind Great Huntress Hartman. Once at each other's throats, those two are difficult to tear apart. Yeah. Always a pleasure. I am at your service, fleshy master. I think I have an idea of how to do this. So he says they should be far apart, which is, well, you know. He said she should be in the front and he should be in the back. And he said he should just be behind her. We haven't even talked to her yet. Okay, so. Mage guy wants to be in the back. He also said Mage Guy should be in the back. The Hunter should be in the front. Which means the Warlord should probably be set. Greetings. But, you know, we should probably continue talking about it. Okay. Hush, Rhymes. All those blessings that don't last nearly long enough. Hello. Darth, like, why are you? The Scolia Arcana are the only outside institution allowed within the city. If you're interested in magic, you should visit them. Well, I already tried them, so... The merchant's derogation. Oh, well, what do the merchants have? Do they have quests? No. Hero. Please do not engage me. I must not be distracted. You mean your role of announcing things? Shouldn't you be announcing that I'm here? You don't seem training? to understand the game. I'm taking apprentices. You've been watching me long enough. What is it? Did I wrong you in another life, brother? I don't know. What you've no doubt heard is correct. I am the Holtfren. I forged Bolgan's Bane of the Caled Coast and many other legendary pieces. Good for you. My youth was spent as a mercenary, but I have since renounced those ways. Unfortunately, my enemies have long memories, and they aren't as forgiving as I am. Okay. Now to become a fierce everyone. Everyone. So, here's the thing, a lot of those trainers, it's like, I'm at three, so I can't learn anything from them, right? How many of them said this, you already know everything the strength teach you, Matt's go without three. 
best way to mean we're over three, I guess. So basically, when you're at three, you get the option to talk to them about training, but you can't really learn the training because you're at three, I think. But if you're at, like, say, four, you don't even get the option to talk about it. It is an ancient Alpha kingdom far across the sea in the dense swamps of Clurcon. I once helped its great lords overcome a terrible Bolgan problem. I have no interest in this war between mortals and the deathless. It is a waste of life, and I have my own private battles to Burger finish. For you. It's as good a place as any, I guess. But after a while, people begin to remember you, and for someone like me, that's a problem. I prefer anonymity. Besides, could there be a better place to hide from this offensive war? The only weapons you find in a garden are the blades of grass. Which can cut deep if you think about Anyway, nothing else I want to talk to you about. I can't really learn from you. This master blacksmith. Bone train two up to three. I know, right? Got what you need. If you're looking to buy armor, I'm the only one in Felltown who's authorized. I don't have many weapons to offer. Well, I don't on account care. of the people. Oh, yeah. You has armor. You has. Ah, you has all this. One, I'll buy all this. Whoops. I think I saw some minor. That's very boost things. Greater damage boost. And then all that stuff I don't give a shit about. There's still a selection to pick through. In the Fae didn't have laws. At least not official ones, until we arrived. Now they insist that those of us who live in Isa must keep its peace. No weapons. You must be one of the special exemptions. Let me guess. Ambassador? Scolia Arcana? Well, be I'm anything. many things. My twin brother and I were entering the army to fight for the Alpha when I panicked. I couldn't. I'm not a fighter. I came to Issa instead. I'm not proud of running, but I'm much more useful here as an unofficial ambassador of sorts. Not everyone's a fighter. Have a good day. And audience here. Get over here. We don't abide by strangers in Issa. In this city, everyone is family. Right. If you want to get around the peace edict. <laughs> You'll have to keep your voice down. <coughs> Not much to tell. Heard the war horn of the recruiters and packed my bags. Slipped out in the dead of the night, I did. And I'm proud of it. What good is fighting when the two Arthur don't die? Besides, I'm a businessman. I got my hand on a pass into Issa, and the rest has been waterfalls and walks by the river. I see. Well, technically, we're not supposed to carry or sell weapons in Issa. But I found a few loopholes. So you As have you. If you're on the market for something deadly, I'm your man. Just you know, that neighborhood in the gnome city of Odessa where the poor live. Oh, it's a lot of fun. So he has weapons and stuff. Gotcha. Okay then. So, can we create some magics? Minor experience boosters, we need prismier dust. We don't have prismier dust. But I was going to say, what does that do? <laughs> Uh, that's one of my persuasive opposite. Not to be confused with that, that just increases persuade. Okay, so nothing very much to worry about now. Uh, let's see, you have a quest. 
go to stand far away from counter back. I hope you're here about the job. Demand is higher than ever. I'm just too busy to deal with anything else. Sure, sure. You want to know about me? It's understandable. You want to know who you're going into business with. A oh, wise move. Sad. Very wise. My mother was a merchant in Rathia, and I learned the trade at her side. I took the apprenticeship with Gwenna Hand mostly to get me into Isa. Now I'm on my own. She's the general merchant in the United Merchants delegation down the road. We've been friends for years now, I believe. A good, honest one, that Gwenna. Are you good and honest, though? Not just anyone can enter the secret city of the Fae. Oh, no. You need an ambassador's endorsement and written authorization. And that's just to be in the lottery. Those in the United Merchants are the lucky ones. Of course, once you see how much gold they actually make in Issa, you will no longer envy them. It's safe, that's for sure. At least for the time being. I don't quite understand the Fae, but they did. What do I know of Fae politics? I didn't even know they had a city until Gwen and I were allowed in. All I know is that there's opportunity here. Thank I can sum up the war in one word. Folly. It is folly. You will see. Everyone will see. You think I like being confined to this cage? Think again. And after all we've done Do for them, I... making oh, a fortune you... is what? These visitors come with obscene amounts of gold or treasure. They don't mind parting with it. My plan was brilliant. Plan. I created a blade. Fay blade, of course, that makes them authentic. Something all of them had to have. That's all they care about anyway. Fay souvenirs. I called it the Honor Brand. Truth be told, it's dull as a stick, but it's easy to make. Listen, if you can find the parts and make them, I'll pay yeah, good this money. Like one of those simple tasks that you just repeat. Eh, sure, why fabulous, not? fabulous! You know a good deal when you see it. There aren't enough people like you in Isa. The Fey don't even use money. Can you imagine? Once why you start forging the honor brands, shit. bring them to me, and I'll provide you with just compensation. There should be plenty of parts around the city. For creatures with no interest in possessions, they sure know how to collect a fair amount of junk. <laughs> Bring me so something basically nice. you want us to create Watch your back. shitty weapons for the purpose of shitty weapons. It's a task. Yes, honor friend. The best is one of those things where I expect you to do this. Go back in here because there was, you know, an anvil. What is it? Oh, he said fate blade, right? Huh. I was going to say, wait a second, I don't actually see it now. But maybe I don't have the thing. Complicated. Unless I have to literally go look for like things now. E on a brand grip. Yeah, I'd have to literally obtain the stuff to maybe less than legitimate means. Okay. Now oh, well, it's a task and I don't really give a shit. This one you can't hit in trainer. It's probably not that great. But I probably already have well, let's face it, we have completed the chat here, so what am I saying? Of course, I can't really learn anything, you know. But there is a quest, and some other people, so let's go talk to the other people. Hi, Ambassador. Let me guess. You're here to buy a title. I no? have many A bribe. Titles. Is that what you want? I Listen to me. I'm no birds. one's plaything. I, I apologize. Forgive me. Sometimes the work in this place is too much. I thought Isa would be different, but it's just another nest of snakes. <laughs> Can I buy a title? Uh, 
You think I want to be here, stuck in this giant vegetable? Never. My mother volunteered me for this position, and I had no choice. I have a young soldier back home who waits for me. But can I be with him before he sails? No. I have to administer to the Fae. Me, 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 me. Me. I don't believe the Fae see the Lossalfar and Dokulfar as separate groups. They tend to view the world in strict generalities, along bloodlines and origins. Sometimes uh, working don't. alongside the Dokulfar sure. is difficult, but we have an arrangement. They adhere to their goals and methods, and we adhere to ours. Anyway, God, I, I understand. Don't. Well, I can offer you the traditional Alpha titles that are available at the Embassy. Yeah, oh, none of those. That's fine. If you change your mind, please do come back. Oh God, it's like a f it's like Fable all mm -hmm. over again. Where's my chicken chaser title? There's none of those titles. We'll see you see later. Right. I'll keep my King Winter one. I can't. I can buy a title. I can I'm curious though. So let's look that. Up. Like, what is the purpose of buying a title? Like, why would I want to buy a title? Exactly. What is the purpose of having a title? So titles are used by the court of Sumber and used to denote special persons. So you're telling me it's only from here. Yeah, look, can I see that has a fey herald that... Wow. Oh. So the herald will introduce you using my title. Great. So maybe it is worth getting. You can buy tires on the various ambassadors in the Emissary Hall, yes, uh, but be aware that you have to surrender your current tire before you can buy a new one. Okay. So. All main titles Chief Protect, Water of Light, High King's Guide. I can't use any of those. Oh, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter what race you are, you can just obtain a tie from any of them. So, Dark Hunter. Find one by all more secret scouts and agents. No. Years of faith are probably not only worried for the wise of, I'm not even on an out bar. That's a mystical, it's not terrible. Okay, that one's almost tempting. Oh, I think I want that one. I think I know which title I want. Uh, I just have to figure Greetings. out who... And we must do what needs to be done. Perhaps we must finally swallow our dignity and draw our swords. Quiet. We must not discuss this further in the open. I uh, just have to figure out which one. Uh, shit, which one it is. I think it's you that has it. Yeah, I think this guy has it. Do you want? I don't know. My want. Aren't you bold? This is the Varani wing of the embassy, and few venture here without being well, summoned. I am a Varani. I'm Ambassador Adva. He who bloodies the waters. He who bloodies the waters. I have served my people for 40 years, in war and in peace. Now I serve here, in the gardens. It is here where Battle the important will, battles though. are fought. The High King knows why we are here, yet he does nothing. Our people die at the hands of the Twatha, Fae. But the Fae themselves show no remorse. Tetarian and the Summer Court will know our anger, and they will aid us or perish. Probably shouldn't be saying those things, but... Oh, right. But I think he's already dead hidden guy. Yeah, it's not like he can really teach me anything. The Varani allow the purchase of several titles for use in the gardens of Issa. 
They are rare and should be worn with great respect. So it could be the blood dog. It could be the guardian of arms. Or it could be Death's Crypticant. Ah, one of our most unusual titles. You will be watched with a close eye when you walk with this name. I proclaim they you Death's Cryptic, Death's Cryptic Hand. Hand. I don't have time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Uh, no good one is. Let's see. No Mercedes. Warlord Esperant. It's bear. I can't even say it properly. Tyrannus Boganus is also a decent one. Or Morsus Canny Imperius. But yeah, Death Scriptic Hand. And I might, that sounds fun. Anyway, so now we are Death Scriptic Hand. Hello, I am Ambassador Calder of the Almain. Good we may be new to the region, but we are just as involved in matters of the Fey. It is simply an honor to be here. We See you later, friend. I uh, didn't actually click his name. Anyway, so yeah. I don't recognize you. you. And that would be the gnome one. You must be the special messenger Tatarian's expecting. Trust me, the rest of us have heard plenty about it. Erwin can't keep his big mouth shut. I am Methani Keen, Dokulfar ambassador to the Summer Court so Fay. So you don't have titles, is what I'm you're saying. sorry. This is a difficult position sometimes. I've met with him several times. I'll admit, he radiates a certain presence, but I'm less interested in charisma than I am in leadership. So is that why you dress like that? Not everyone is welcome up there. It's where the court of summer nobles spend their odd, time reminding it? themselves of past glories. I'd avoid it. Isa is fine, and the Fey are tolerable, but many believe they should do more to support the war effort. It's un they are a council of Fey nobles that advise the High King in matters of politics. Well, more of a game than usual. Right, right. You understand anyway, my meaning. Something is about to happen, oh, no. and it must be stopped. Something's but that is all I can say. This is neither the time nor the place. If you're interested in hearing my story, meet me in the worship circle right. after dark, near the gates. I will wait for you there. Sure. Goodbye. Fine. I don't know what time it is. <laughs> I apologize, but one of my station has many obligations ah, to attend to. Please, excuse me. Welcome to the Embassy, young one. I am Scholar Icob of the Domus Politica. What brings you to my chamber? Gnomes. We have a unique interest in the Fey, but I cannot explain further. I will say this. Their supposed immortality poses a problem to all mortals. The scholars in Odessa have a keen interest in gaining High King Tatarian's trust and cooperation. There's so much to learn from him. I see. A flighty creature. During my audience with the King, he forgot my name not once, but twice. It was insulting. But did he notice? Never. I've had a long career as an ambassador with the Domus Politica, and as a clerk in the Grand Bursas. But the real work will be done out here, in the wider world. I see. Farewell. Thought in the thing. Okay. 
You will feel at home here, mortal. There's plenty of deceit and hatred to keep you interested. <laughs> That's what keeps you kind of interested, right? I mean, not. Oh, it looks like it's dead. That's it. Presenting the instrument of the immortals, His Eminence Death's cryptic hand. So yeah, this title only seems to really matter slightly in here. Just for them to announce me as things. Anyway, you heard his quest. If you're looking to drown your worries in the bottom list. of a bottle, this is the place for you. I'm Goethe and Asker, and this is my establishment. But if you're looking for the Victor's Brew, we don't sell that in Asker's Alley, and you'll have to take your business elsewhere. There's a brewery near Athia that makes it. Very small, very secretive. But they've found their niche, that's for certain. Cheap and powerful. It's not a drink for the man who appreciates craftsmanship, tradition. It just helps the soldiers forget all they've been through. The ambassadors requested that facilities be created where flesh and blood folks could put their feet up. Not that the Fae know what that means. So the All Main approached my family about starting a tavern. The Alley does well, but I'm no businessman. Oh, yes, sorry. The United Merchants Delegation. It's a coalition uh -huh, of traders that have been granted permission to... I wouldn't say I ran from the war. I just don't need to know every little thing that's going on. There are other ways to help. Getting folks drunk oh, is one of them. Go. I know better than to criticize the Fae. They call us children of dust. We treat them like people, but they're like no people I've ever met. This city has been here for thousands of years. Longer than that, even. It will be here long after we're gone. He understands the natural order of things, though. It's the most popular drink in Amalur. At least it is now. My Asker's Ale used to be the preferred beverage, but every day brings more cancelled orders. My brother and I are working on a new drink, but it requires something... Special. Well, I have some fate. Yeah. Wait a minute. Give you. Maybe you could help. If you do, I could see to it that the merchants in Issa treat you well. Yeah, sure. So here's what we're thinking. Bring back our grandmother's favorite Asker's Draft. A classic. The recipe calls for bristletongue seeds. And if you're talking rare ingredients, bristletongue tops the list. It's worthless for potions, potions, but tastes fabulous. The problem is that the Fae control the use of Bristletongue, as it's a product uh -huh. of the Fonts waters. Talk to Jackson, their that apothecary. Thing. He can probably get it for us. It's been in our family for four generations. Our grandmother entrusted us with the formula, and we made a fortune from it. But I'm afraid we've been replaced by a new drink. Almir the Bald was the first king of the Almain. He brought us out of lawlessness and misery. We've always wanted to name a drink after him. He spends his time in the Lyceum yeah, Grove in the understyle section of town. He's an odd duck, always crafting new tonics. Some advice? Don't drink any. See you soon. Okay, way. Hi, how Hi, are you? How are you? Hey there, pretty. This is Asker's Alley, best tavern in Issa. Only Tavern and Issa, of course, but you didn't know that, did you? If you're new in the city, I can help. I know everything about the Understyle, the Embassy, the well, Scolia you Arcana, you name it. Helpful. I know it all. We provide your basic public service, ale. And if drinking isn't your thing, then you can always stop uh. by the Hexes game and back. Olana and her squire Brio, they have the good fortune to meet with all the nobles who visit the High King. A life of lords and ladies. Oh, that's the life for me. Oh, if I had the finery and manners, you wouldn't find me anywhere but the Embassy Hall. I'd oh, even buy a title. title. But it's a dreadful place these days. What with the war? The Darkofar and Varani are practically at arms over their differences, and everyone speaks in a whisper. I prefer the United Merchants delegation. Those are my people. So you want to brush up on your bad luck, do you? That game will do it for you, all right. Speak with Kali in the back. Let me just say that I adore Alana. 
She's one of the few Fae that I've met face to face, and she couldn't be more pleasant. Such a pretty one. Is that the one at the far end of the Understyle? Yeah, I think that's the place. Never been there, but folks say that's where the Fae make the waterfalls. You see, the city gets its magic from the water. They call it the Fountain. Or is it the Wellspring? <laughs> I never remember. I'm sure it's just a story anyway. Sure, stories. When Issa first opened, the Alphar approached the humans about creating a shared shop, so people here could get their sundries. All of this was lost on the Fae, of course. Most of the United Merchants are good people, like Weistrin and Gwenna. But that blacksmith's apprentice, Brit Codgan, he's a leech. The Askers took me in when my pa was killed in the war. That's been nearly ten years. Now this is my home, pretty. It's where you'll find me every day and every night. Oh, that's a sinister spot, isn't it? Even the Fae take a few extra steps to walk clear of there. Don't trust oh, anyone in robes. Like I said, it's all magic to me. If the Fae said this city got its power from glowing purple antelopes, I'd probably believe them. I'm just a hostess. It's the Fae neighborhood on the other side of the city. There you'll find the Hall of Appointments and the Lyceum Grove. They don't mind if you go exploring in the Understyle, but I wouldn't suggest it unless you know your way around. The Fae can be easily offended. Well, what you have? Oh, you have a backpack. Oops. Uh, I pressed the thing again. Because it scrolled down. Take those lockpicks, though. Bye now. Drink, cousin. <laughs> ah, here we go. So you should be second while I'm assuming you. The House of Ballads must have taught you courtly manners, but not enough to keep you from interrupting. What is it, Your Grace? No, they don't really teach me. What order should you enter? I am not petty, but I have limits, as do we all. I know I should lead the formation because of my position, but other, more tender individuals will insist otherwise. Whatever you do, do not make me walk behind the High Fey Mage Goronet. How shall I put this? He has an odor. So what do you think? If you value this position, you will make sure Lord Setter is not behind Huntress Hartwin. She finds him despicable, as do I. So basically, but yeah, see that it doesn't sure happen again. The, order now, don't we? <laughs> the whole. Welcome to the alley. The Huntress, the Warlord, the Viscount, the Mage. I was going to say the dinner night toy the bread. Turn away, mortal. The den of night is meant for the impudent. Your entrance shall be denied. It is where the brazen and unrepentant are sent to cons- They are given time to reflect, and when they are ready, they may brave the- My own telling has brought me here to the gardens of Issa, to act as one of its guardians and caretakers. Suppose you're the- Avoid the den of night, just- Like, ah, uh, there might be grass in there, but I don't really care about going into the prison. Okay, so. Now we go circle around. We haven't even reached the second level yet. Really. I have a tired bears is gonna be me going and talking to people in the city. Yes, Dostling. Presenting the instrument of the immortals, his eminence. Yay. I mean, it's silly, but sure, why not? Tyler. Ah, welcome to the Lyceum Grove. 
where the majesty of the font is glorified and regulated. Yeah, I no, am Jackson, apprentice to the font master and steward of tinctures yeah, well, and elixirs. Bristle on my moy, that would be something. A mockingbird, the font's only yield. Of course, I will tell you where it is. Well, there you go. What would be the fun in refusing? But before I do that, you need to offer One me something. Another, Isn't that how you mortals act? One deed for another? A steward of tinctures and elixirs, I often dabble in alchemy, oh, God. <laughs> especially with the water from the font. And I need you to drink this potion. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Good. I will know what this does to the mortal yeah, constitution. Die, head, right. Go on, big gulps now. None of that sipping. Do come see me again. Ah, uh, apparently. Am I okay? Am I dead? I'm... I don't know where I'm at. As you turn it's facing your vision, you go to answer those words. You mentioned something about the bristles are growing in a garden high on the font. Fortunately, your memory is hard to blur as your head begins to melt. I was half expecting it to be like, hey, conversation here. Presenting the instrument of the immortals. High on the font. Which... Anyway, I believe it's time to go. There's no kiss of those. I don't even. There's no hero on this thing. Where's that? And took note of that. Once you speak with all four of the dignitary, goodbye. You have to go straight to the last one. It's like, do I? I, I already know the order. Sure. So I'm gonna go that way for the main thing, but we'll go this way instead. Because hey, remember the disturbing trainer we had to find? Four dignitaries, no request. Yay. <laughs> I can't remember, was there anything in hell besides them? Nope. Oh no. Okay, I can't pick up those. <laughs> I was like, oh no, more echo sounds. May the stone sing your song to the ages. May the breath of time remember you. Listen. Listen as the Echo Stone etches each ballad in memory. Well, tell me about the Care Seeker. Olaine sought to bring the light of truth. To save a village plagued. To find a hey, cure for them. Hey, mortal maid. Her quest, <laughs> She's just at the fault the of it. The maid of Windermere. Her test. Once the ill were brought to health. And the villain had fallen by. Good Olain returned to mortal ground and gifted them with magic found. Would you like to start the spell? I like the list. So talk to him. For the place, travel there, sweet person. The agents planted. Okay. Harvest rest of time. Talk to her. Me, Ambassador, found those people. R fuck that. Am I hot? You're always welcome. The ballads belong to all in the telling, mortals yeah, and fae okay. alike. May good fortune follow. Somewhere you keep forgetting. After a while, you keep forgetting. Greetings, Dustling. 
You, you had as a fan. What's up? You feel it, don't you? Anyone intimate with the ways of magic can detect the waning current. You're like oh, me, Your Grace. You at see the end. Me. Is this how it happened at the House of Ballads? Did Hallam foresee this slow decay? I had a feeling he did. It is the source of summer court magic and touches our realm of origin, the land of Ashara. Without its constant flow, our kind would dry up like leaves and vanish. So whatever the uh, Tarapa came and destroyed it is what I want now. While wise and powerful, he's also brash and narrow. A sliver of light in a world so dark that most of us are blind. His inaction is no match for mortal ambition. It has been located here for many of your generations, what we call seasons. Only in recent times has it been shaped to resemble one of your mortal cities. The summer court resides on the highest terrace, far above the rest of us, as it should be. Every season, one is chosen to attend the font's magical flow to act as ambassador. I'm the only Fae to have held oh, the position so more than once. I feel the strength of the currents. They wash through me. They rise up and overflow. However, their power weakens. Their cool waters recede. Most mortals know nothing of what lies beyond the veil. The magical realm of Ishara. It is a mystery even to us, as we departed its shores many seasons ago. As it is in every season, this family of Summer Fae has communed at the feet of its greatest leader, the High King Tatarian. The Western Fae lands are our domain. Of the Gardens of Issa? Of the Summer Court? Why, this Crystal War may be the end of all Fae. I know because I am Nomeron, master of the font, the wellspring of all Summer Court magic. I've seen it flow at its highest, but I've never seen it so dry. Something must be done before all this city withers into nothingness. So what want me to do? The font's flow is controlled from the Lyceum Grove down below. We must open the root system and allow more water through. However, the magic that regulates this flow can only be used by some. It's protected by a ward known as the Waterlock. It can only be opened by one who carries drops from each of the five sacred pools surrounding Issa. Uh, Collect these drops, and you can break the Waterlock. Uh, okay. Collect water five from each pool, of the five sacred pools, and then go to the Lyceum oh, Grove. That sounds a bit this Oh, strange. I'm a king. Ah. Anyway. So you need that, and you need like an hour piece, don't you? I don't see that one. No I'm fighting in the city. I'm running around, looking for stuff. So what the hell is the purpose of this area? <laughs> I don't want to go down. Hi, you have a name. Yes. Oh, Welcome to the gardens, mortal. But you have not come to visit the city for a while. I am the great Huntress Hartwan, and you are not allowed on the trellis. What brings you here? <laughs> well, those beautiful? are some omit statements. You're not allowed here. But I'm totally into you. What was I? Wait, what? How quaint. Well, I am the most respected and most deserved to lead. Besides, 
I detest that harlot, Warlord Winery. So it is only right I meet the High King before her. I don't get an award thing. Every one of our kind is a gift, they say. A role in the telling. Mine is to seek harmony with nature, by keeping the wild fae under control. I am the Reaper. Most of my seasons are spent in the shadows of the canopy, tracking my prey. I have come to the Gardens of Issa to report the decay of wild fae. They are disappearing, and the King must be informed. Either they are vanishing due to the decline in fae magic, or someone is hunting them. Uh, it's my duty my to discover which story is true. <laughs> Growth is violent, and nothing can reach fruition without surviving conflict. That is nature's way. Our House of Valor celebrated that conflict. Now, however, this great house has fallen to goodbye. Here's the thing, I sort of want to compel the Fae to like the Safari from Guild Wars 2, but besides the plant like the you know, of their armor and architecture, yeah, there's not really much in common with them. Because, yeah, the Safari were, were, I want to say. Well, it's awkward if you think about it, because basically the whole origin and story is about how they're sort of new to the world and they have to do those, they'll re, okay, fuck, they are sort of similar <laughs> to the frickin' Fae after all, if I think about it. Because the whole personal story involves doing the old dream vision quest, basically, which is what they were destined to do. Which is sort of why I like the Fae with the whole talents. But yet then, but the thing is. The regular game makes this far out to be like, hey, they're the newest young race, they... But then, since it's been like, you know, 10 years now, man, it has been like 10 years, and everything else that adds up, I'm not entirely sure how exactly they play out after that fact. Since I haven't really had a safari for longer than... I don't know. I don't really play dustling. Yes. No, oh, this is one of these things. Oop. Greetings. I'm out to play Char. Or Norn. Maybe human. Need to do more Zerg. Anyway, water to collect, stuff to find. It's still not nice. I can't go to the one. Return to Spire Bobo, whatever his name was. Hello, ah, uh, Spire Bobo Rio. So you're done. A right group of snakes, eh? So, any insight into how I should present them so as not well, to yeah, tug their I, writhing I, I, tails? I know the order. It's good that someone does. Go on. Let's line up these backstabbing serpents. Oh, I just choose the first one. Yes, yes. Of course. And then? All right. Next. Yes, yes. Excellent. That's a perfect order for these fools. Saves me the trouble of talking to them. Thank you. And <laughs> that's it. That's better yet. Goodbye, Your Grace. So I would do it. That's next time. This one should I could probably do. That one I'm not sure about. Well, clearly it's out there. I do not move. That one's out there. That 
that one, so that was a night. And who knows how many quests are up there? I'll go over here anyway. I might have to go approach the bedroom for this time. We can seek the court assembly. Greetings. That's it, so we go over here. And is she here? Oh, doesn't Good. Not night, You've come. I'm sorry to make you wait like this, but what I mean to discuss is very sensitive. Ooh, treachery. It involves treachery. What the fuck's going on? Despite the calm you see around you, the gardens of Issa are on the brink of war. And the question is, who will be fighting? Good. There are plans being made to seize this city. Your people are displeased with the court of Summer's lack of support for the war, and they wish to overthrow Tatarian and Not force the, the remaining Fey to fight. You can prevent this, but you must act now. If gold is an issue, we Dokulfar can pay well. Some of your people disagree with Tatarian's neutrality. They believe that his Fey subjects could be convinced to march with us on the battlefield. I believe this as well. But I would never resort violence. Now Issa is in danger of being turned into a military camp. You cannot let that happen. It will ruin all hope for winning okay, this war. Sure. Of course, it is the right thing to do. The leader of the plot is the Varani ambassador, oh, no. Kirna Brenner. Every night, the ambassador strolls I memory the walk ambassador alone. That one guy in she carries a pair of daggers. He who bloodies the water. Take them. Afterwards, Dispose of them. Destroy them. Salvage them. I don't care. Return to me when it is done. She spends most of her time in the embassy, but in the After evenings, the she enjoys a leisurely stroll through memory walk. Try there. She is no politician. She is a warlord and a cruel one. I've heard stories that would make your heart brittle. She was sent here for one reason alone. To bring down Isa. Goodbye. Third so thing. This could also be a double standing where basically she isn't that. Or just being told that. To potentially you know. Make this complicated. Oh, so why are you pointing me there when it should be up there? Good question. Hello. Why are you pulling me back to the embassy hall? This is a waste of time. Presenting uh, the instrument of the immortals. So the thing is, isn't the brandy one you? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Do you have business with the Varani in the gardens of Isa? If so, then you must speak with me. This is not a life I chose, here in this fetid swamp of a city. I was raised on the sea, an adventurer and warrior. I survived, and that made me what you see before you. Cowardice drives her ambition, a fear of being discovered. All the Alpha lack spines. We Varani make our own outcomes. You should know this. I don't want to stop you, by the way. You must mean Keen and her cohorts in the embassy. Lapdogs, all of them. They don't appreciate the situation. They don't understand sacrifice. This plot interests you. Listen, Ambassador Keen tries to stop me, but she can only do so while she lives and breathes. You can help so here's me the put thing, an end to that. <laughs> Everything she says makes it sound like, yeah, I'm totally going to do that. Yeah, how about... I'm trying to think, how do I want to change things? Do I want to turn this here into a military camp? Potentially. Hmm. Do I want to turn this here into... Because there's the thing. Hmm. 
You know what? Since I'm a Ronnie, why not? Such is this game of diplomacy. All options are in play What's until that? an obvious choice presents itself. Force can be quite useful if you know how to clean up after yourself. Kill that scheming whore. When it's done, deliver these daggers for me. A courier awaits you in Aiton Village, to the east. This is what must be done. The Varani will not be threatened. She is either working in the embassy or praying down by the city gates on the lower terraces. Try to find her alone. The guards can be somewhat. Varani so how do we want to do this? Do we want to go on that one? Do we? So basically, rise up against the thing. Or take her down so they can rise up against the thing. I mean, I mean, decisions, everyone. Decisions. Oh, no, how is that like I can't pull this off with, you know, guards everywhere? If you need Because this is one of those, this hill is clearly a crime. You will be seen. People are going to freak out. Because, I mean, there's a fact that Greetings. they are literally bad. Let alone everyone else. Welcome. Politics is a dirty business, but it is necessary. The Varani leaders here communicate secretly using weapons. We believe this particular pair of daggers describes goodbye. So... Save. What button is it? I add H. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, here's the problem though, is you did that, which means basically everyone's hostile now. Stop where you are, Dustin. Oh, you want here? There we go. Perhaps I can find a use. Like I'm just gonna pay this off. You know, totally just pay it off. Deliver the bathrooms. Daggers to record an item. Which item was? Oh. Okay. <sighs> anyway, well that's yeah. I kind of think I could have de-escalated this, but what if I did it? What if I did things this way? What do you believe? <laughs> there is but one. I don't know if you think about it. So there was this whole plan to make take care of the high game. Make this here into get the fact being like, oh, well, we should totally go help in the war. Is that being neutral? Not like the, the war is really being won, so. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, we have the hiking, we have water, we have some stuff, we have people just. Oh god, just standing out. There's a, that was like that's it. Just one little what giant plant. Okay, sure. Now it just gives me to go to collect the water or whatever I need. Yay. Anyway. What's up guys? I'm going to the port of summer. You go talk to the high king and be like, hey. High King Tatarian is waiting for you. Yes. Please Mortal. place the codex before him. You have nothing to fear. He has entered a reverie. It will allow him to yeah, step I'll forward. And his majesty hey, will. Argo. I heard about Haxi. Impressive work. I wonder what became of Hughes after the tower. The old man's too clever. Oh, didn't you say he was gonna die? 
Well, I guess the updates change and all that. So anyway, so I guess I just put this on there. Time for cutscenes, everyone. Time to advance plot. You know, for a high king, he doesn't look that regal. He's got some swagger to his walk, though. <laughs> you know, a hell would you probably be headed for this thing. Conceived in chaos. Birthed in stolen magic. Torn yeah, from fate. Child of two fathers. Treacheries in treacheries. Winter is broken. Puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. <laughs> in the east it did begin, as it will end. As it will end. From behind the veil she screams. Madness and rage. Madness and rage. Okay. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, Yet I've like the Fey, cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fey who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from Fate's weave. Gadflow claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations <laughs> of a god, me a god, what does that make you? The time of the Fey is passing. Our land and our souls are diminishing. Few Fey even realize that the great cycle is shifted. Gadflow's war means the death of us all, fey and mortal alike. It is written in the weave that we shall all pass from this world together. It is too late for us, but not for you. That is the yeah, fate which I look to you to change. Well, I'm something new. The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This is why Nerolim fears what you might become. This age has seen much change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. You are intertwined with the power in the East. There can be no doubt of that. Your energy reaches back to Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His god holds your answer and the fate uh, of this world. Sense. I thank you, and perhaps you I'm can help back. change our world's fate as well. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, no, I do because but because you choose to. That is by far a far truer greatness. You get me, the war's pure. We must go stop Jim Cummings. Admirable. But strength of will cannot see you through this alone. You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Hi. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand so, against you. Oh, new twist of fate. I've written one. You are truly blind fate, able to choose your own destiny is witnessed and proclaimed by the High King himself. If you gain more gold and spirits. Lovely. The weave is a puzzle. Each person is a piece. 
The edges of their fate locking together with the people around them, all performing their duties to form a grand picture. However, you are no longer a puzzle piece. You are a dollop of paint. You cover and redefine the edges of the puzzle pieces you meet. But more dangerously, you repaint the picture of reality itself. Who can trust that your design is better wow, than the original? It is the deepest tragedy that our fall should come from our own. Make no mistake, Gadflow is the harbinger of the end of my kind. In fighting him and his army, you will surely spell our doom. For that tragic truth, we forgive you. We are the dreams of warmth and safety, given physical form. But these dreams are endangered by Gadflow and the long winter. Well, Since our kind returned to this world so long ago, it has been my honor to serve as High King of the Summer Court. My rule was always shared with the High King of the Winter Court, until Gadflow arose. Now both of our people are in peril. The Summer and Winter Courts have always ruled the Feylands in harmony, as the seasons wash across the world. But with Gadflow's new god, something changed. The Winter Fey who followed him called themselves Tuatha, and bore a mark of Prismir upon them. Their power has grown, no, and yet they are like diminished. And stuff. But technically, they're basically wearing something that both enhances them, yet also drains them at the same time. Our cold cousins across the sea. Do not think the Winter Court our enemies, for we love them as family, dismal though they may be. Oh, to walk in their starlit gardens once again, or sip their calming stone tea. But the okay, Tuatha well, have consumed bye. them, and all of their wonders are lost. Well, both you have stuff to talk, Danny, to talk to you about. Guards, guards, guards. I couldn't make out half of yeah, what the king was saying, but it sounds like yeah. you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old, old friend. friend of ours. Oh, great. Old Fomerus Hughes, of course. If anybody can help, it's to bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. I've been asking around, and I was able to make contact oh, with yes, his superior. Good, yes, he thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. Well, he's dead, right? No, he's a crafty one. If he got away from those assassins in the lab, like you said, I'm sure he found some place new to hide out. And if anyone's likely to know where he'd go to find safe haven, it'd be the Templar who sponsored his work. His name's Octien. Go southeast to the Hollowlands. So Templar Octien will be waiting there well, to discuss how you might find Hughes. Well. You're not the only one on the hunt for Hughes. Octien has so followed his trail that. to the Hollowlands in Detir. You'll and want to talk to him. What's your story? Go to Rathil. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape, Neuralem's looking for a savior, and Tatarian is looking for a champion, and somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. Uh, sure. You're right. This won't be easy. The Tuatha have our forces under siege at Mel Senshir, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. There we get you. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Anyway. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. None of us could have foreseen the rise of Gadflow and his army, but we should have. 
and now we're all facing the price. General Talera was in charge of our forces to the east in Clurican, but a decade ago, Witch Knight Malwin and his Tuatha army drove her forces back. Since then, she's been looking for some way to take back the land so she lost and regain her have honor. You might one see just the help she needs. A word path of Harry Torch was here. Be on your way. Greetings, mortal. Welcome to the tr just look at the house of valor. The crumpled husk of its uh -huh. former self. Is this the fate of all oh, our visit joy. me again? <laughs> okay. Me go now, me go back. But I grab that. And I'll the car somewhere, I need to figure out how we walk. Okay, return, deliver, reagents, okay. I thought memory. Yeah, I was just gonna say, wait, where is memory walk at? Actually. Oh, that area. That area, so that's where they want me to murder her at because no one would be potentially around there. Okay, well, we can grab that. Go to the thing, poke the thing, we can bounce the thing, we can turn in the thing. Gotcha. Don't bring your dark world here. Nice cake. So, we'll try ahead. Hello. Now, let's go open the water long. Add more water to the magic flow. Hope that helps. I am at your service, my lord. Seems like only a temporary solution if the water dries Good up. So if we're using more water and the water's drying up, wouldn't that be mean there would be no water left anyway? Potentially. Presenting the instrument of the immortal. Anyway, use the flow regulator. Okay. That's it, apparently. You have used the flow regulator. Done well, child of the dust. Those below will never know what is really happening. But in the end, is this a part of the many seasons or the sudden tempest? Does hiding the rot not spoil the harvest? No? Take this. You're yeah, brave. We'll Perhaps we will meet again. May your gods protect you more. Yeah, now. Potentially have the High King murdered. Welcome. Pretty sure that's probably going to be bad for the for things. Oh, there we go. Back to the board. Like, hey, here's the sea. the instrument of the immortal. You've got the seeds! <laughs> now we'll see if the victor's brew can stand up to a new challenger. So I can't have I'll have me. a batch of Asuka's draft ready before the week is out. Take this, friend. Ooh, and like I, I promised, the merchants here will give you a discount. You've got a home here in the alley for as Does long as you like. Bedroom? Anyway. Come back again. And what's his face? This thing I don't really care about. 
Just like I don't help out with the sewer run. So though some that's some daggers are place. Not entirely sure which area I want to head towards. Cause base oh Okay, I regret choosing this quest. <laughs> Didn't realize it was gonna be literally everywhere. Overkill. Like places I haven't even been to yet. Okay then. You know what? I'll go do some of these ones that I know I have access to first. Probably should end the video soon. But let's get this out of the way. So, yeah, of all places. It's good to see you. So, basically, I just planted that. Okay, sure. That's the thing I could do. Look, while I'm here. While I am here. <laughs> it's either this or I go back to green. Greetings. Hi. Yeah, I need him. I need this curse gone. May I help Thanks. you? Be careful out there. <laughs> okay, so next we go to in hell. It's just, it's just like, so you're just gonna add random plants to things. The thing is, they'll basically buy most of the cities, aren't they? In a way, yeah, pretty much. It's like, do I want to go to Aiton? There's like a lot of crust there to pick up too. If I could advance that thing and maybe end up back in the issue, I'm not sure. I think I'll probably save it for later. But also I'm not 100% sure if I want to go to Dale first. Or if I want to go to... But do I want to head towards right there or do towards the desk? Don't know. Alright, hi stash. That's it, I don't need you, thanks. And I don't need you, thanks. This ring? Eh, not to help. I'll keep it. Alright, I can take my spider silk. Not sure if there's other houses. If there are, they'll probably well more so torturous there or Desma than over here. I think we want to head back to Born Lodge now and begin the tracking of the other thing. And they are places. Places. So. Oh, I'm just gonna go in there just to change my save file name. But instead of, you know, being stolen off, it can be born blocked. So, next time we're gonna go find the initiative, we're gonna go explore the at all. And then I'm not entirely sure what I'll be doing. Of course, I don't I technically have Tender Trick. Maybe. 
Right, those collecting things. Like, that I said a lot easier. Anyway, next time. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day. But yeah. I'm trying to think how far I've actually made it. I think... I think I may have made it to a death so before. when I actually did this back in the day. Because I never actually beat Kingdoms of Amalur. I, said, I think I made you a death zone and then and there was like a load of crash and I was like, yeah, I'm burnt out. Nope. So far, I'm still mostly good. But just... It's just the fact that I have this along with everything else to work on. It's... It's a bit draining. Like my mana. Except for my mana is like about hell. <laughs> Drained. Cause there's this. There was Guild Wars 1. There's still the backlog, which are 3. Sacred 2, I need to get back to. Spider's Gate 2, I need to do at some point. Divinity 2. Pretty sure there was Borderlands at some point I was gonna get back to, but. I don't know when that'll be. Let alone some other projects I'm probably getting started on, so yeah. Too much to do, not enough time. At least when we're about to level up, probably not fail. We still need to reach 24 though, for, you know, hacks. But anyway, next time.